We've got Horizon taking on Real Gaming. This is Real Gaming Blue. Big match for Real Gaming taking on the number one spot in the league, which is Horizon. And we're playing <clears throat> on some standoff, which is something we haven't seen for quite some time. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this will play out. Early control looks to be going to Real Gaming. First hardpoint is up and on the way. So Richie will break in. Looks like it's Sparks pushing out to try and get some control around Elwall. If I can try and remember what everything is called here. Shane looking to break on in. Gets cleaned up by a nade. By AKS, I'm told. This guy has quite some history in the league. Ben Tomp picking up a nice two piece. He's going to jump over the half wall. Get himself around to gas station. Finds a nice kill there with the Krieg 6. That's extending him onto a three kill spree. Eventually falls. AKS in the hard point will fall to top bun. Let's see. She's just going to make her way upstairs. Try and look over towards Statue to see if she can spot anything coming from Horizon. But they're all spawning in the back lines. Over by the gas station. So that gives Horizon a chance to break in here. AK finding one. Cleaned up by Tom, by Ben Tom. <coughs> 2002. 7 and 5 in a strong game so far. Lead just about being held on to by Horizon. They do get a nice contest and a nice break there. Sparks not able to find the next kill there. I think there was about two in a row for him there before he find, finally falls. And let's see who's on the rotation. Looks like Real Gaming will be already set up in Grammars. Greens, AK-74U in hand. As they do take the lead away from Horizon. 50 points to 43. That's the score. First couple of hard points gone. One more hard point to go after this one in the first rotation. Reen's getting a bit trigger happy there. Nearly lines up two of his... Uh, two including his own teammate. Finds the next one on this spree. Five and four for him. AKS though. Five kill spree at the moment. Breaks himself into the hard point but... Be shot down by Top Bun. She throws a nade and she's on the rotation now. Squeezing it back round to the second hard point to get round to this sort of barn side of the map. Ready to go into the shops. Gets shots on one, but player coming sneakily up the top. I think that was AKS who was trying to jump out of the top there. Eventually cleaned up, so control briefly in the hands of Sparks, but he will fall. Good break from Real Gaming. Ben's going to be tasked with holding the front. His teammate's probably going to get that done. Bun will fall, so Richie's going to break in. Having a bit of a slow start here in this game. 3 and 10 make it 3 and 11. Woe's continuing for now, but Sparks doing the best that he can. I don't feel like mo many teams will be particularly practiced on this map, so this could be a bit of a scrappy map. Um, I expect could go quite down to the wire towards the end. It's sort of contesting back and forth. It's a narrow lead for Real Gaming. Hardpoint is about to rotate. Let's see if anyone's able to get there. Ben's trying to get across the street. Shane will be first movers in there. Has a player top. Will he find this player? Gets a nice beat down there. Onto Beast, I believe that was. Jumps out for the second, but... Richie finds himself on a two kill spree now. Fortunately cleaned up by a team kill. However, AKS 14 and 10. Having a very strong game, mate. That 15 and 10 now. Has 28 seconds in the hard point. As uh, Horizon do have the lead now. It's a narrow lead. 84 points to 103. Back and forth we go. Kills around the hard point. 
But Real Gaming trying to squeeze in, but they're not going to be able to do so. The rotation's coming in now. Player number four leading the charge. That's going to be Shane. Ten seconds to go on the first half point and the second rotation. Nice shots there by Shane. So he's working his way around. Maybe going all the way to the back line. See if he can catch anyone slipping. Richie will be coming. He's going to get caught full sprinting. Nice two-piece there from Shane. Traded out eventually by Sparks. Looks like the Horizon do have the spawns that they want by these hay bales. So they're going to be able to watch the spawners coming across from Real Gaming. However, Ben has got into the hard point. He's cleaned up by Beast. He's 15 and 12 right now, having a pretty strong game. We'll see what he's able to get done. Teammates picking up kills around him. The pressure now is in that first hard point zone. Player number two, it's Reens, rotated on over for the next hard point. Quite a sizable lead growing now for Horizon, it has to be said. We're about to eclipse the 160 point mark. There they go. Just 88 points. Real game in letting this one slip away. They had a really good hold here last time around. They're going to need another good grandma's hold. Richie's trying to break in on a three-kill spree. Has support from a teammate as well. That's going to be Sparks, I believe. He will fall. But Richie, Richie lining them up. Three for him. That extends him out to a three-kill spree. They all line up. That extends them now to 173 to just 96. What was a good hard point for Blue. Uh, real Blue game. Uh, game excuse me. Real game in Blue. <laughs> uh, is no longer the case as... Uh, it's being controlled convincingly right now by Horizon. Just one player left. It will be top bun. 16 and 21 for her. She will fall. Scrap time being picked up by AKS. Let's see who's going to be over by the next hard point. Player number two. It's going to be Reens again already on this rotation. Not going to have any contest just yet. No streaks have been earned. So it's going to be all guns to blaze in here. Sparks has cleaned up on his first attempt. Reens turns around, not expecting more pushes coming from the packages. However, it's all kills. Blue in the kill feed. Beast now it says it's my turn to pop off. Picks up two before finally falling. Shane looks like he's going to be trying to hold the front door desperately. Cleaned up by a team kill nade there. Everyone just trying to scramble in. It's No one's able to get control. AKS finds two. Sparks is going to be taking point now. Has players to deal with in packages. Gets one's weak. He's going to back up here. Try and play his life. Just 10 seconds left on his hard point. Getting very close to the win. Need to rotate to the next hard point. Who's going to be there? Richie looks like he's going to be making his way around. Going the long way around. Taking his time. Bit of trick of discipline, let him down there. He's going to get cleaned up in the back potentially momentarily. It's not. Oh, shooting bodies from Richie. He's fired up after that three piece. Finds another kill. Really heating it up now. 21 and 23. Only slightly negative at this point. Finds another one on this spree. Richie, we'll just leave it on him for the remainder of the game. Five seconds left for the win. Fortunately, he will fall. Brief contest by Ben, but it's quickly dealt with by Sparks and Horizon Alliance. Take map number one. Fantastic from them. It was very, um, it was very close to start with. Real gaming gave up a solid fight, but look at this from Richie. Let's see it. Slides in there. Has teammate support and just lines him up. One, two, three. As they're throwing their nades in. Fantastic stuff. All right, we'll throw it to a quick break and we'll be back for map number two in a moment. All right, here we go then into map number two for the Cold League UK. In the uh, league here, we're having a bit of a battle on with a throwback style, it feels like so far. Horizon Alliance taking on Real Gaming. Real Gaming put up a fight early on in that hard point, but 
After that halfway point, Horizon really stepped it up and didn't really look back. Richie finishing strong in that map number one. Search and destroy then on raid. It's going to be first blood picked up by Sparks after Richie gets them weak. Great nade there into Tiki. Bomb being pushed up. Sparks will fall, but be sure just about managed to get this bomb down. 3v3 situation. Player number five, it's uh, Reigns, who's looking like he's going to go on a long flank here through the middle of the map. I don't know if he's going to come pull steps or he's going to come down the long route through the back. Richie is watching the back along with Beast now, in case that happens. But he's going to come pull steps to see what he sees here. As his back to two players, three players actually, not going to see anything. Top Bun's trying to find some information and it's not really seeing and I think Horizon doing a great job of not really peeking, playing the clock very, very well at the moment. Keeping eyes on that bomb. AKS picking up two actually there. I'm not sure if he picked up the final kill there, but yes he did. Wow, let's see if we see that again. There's one, there's two. Three pieces for days from the Horizon squad right now. The grenade finishes off this one. Nicely done. First round in the books. Goes to Horizon. If you are just joining us, Horizon up 1-0 in the series. In this league match. Had a great map one. AKS off to a 3-0 start. Having a good search and destroy at the moment after the first round. No pressure coming over towards the B bomb site. It's all going to be happening over at B. Or excuse me, at A. Richie, I believe, top window cleaned up actually from someone top red. I think that was uh, top bun getting that one done. Kills back and forth. AKS finding another kill. Has another player above him. <sighs> Turns there. Not able to get the kill. Beast now. Beautiful shots into the first. Not able to find the second. Real gaming. Answer back. That's kind of something that you think they needed to do as well. But wanted to get too out of hand too quickly. Horizon Alliance. Bit of an emotional team I feel like at times. Bit of a momentum based team. You've got to keep a lid on them otherwise these emotional teams, these hype teams can just bury you if they get any sense of success in a game. They'll just flatten you. AKS, he's having that sort of game right now. 4-1. and one. I'm going to need to shut him down. Richie draws first blood. Barks with second blood. Ben trying to answer back. Finds one. He's going to find himself all alone in the kitchen. His buddy Shane's going to be quite far away from the action. Bomb will go down at the A-bomb site. 30 seconds left. Ben picks up a kill actually. Working the bat lines here. We'll see if he finds any more. Beast is going to be trying to look through this back jungle area and look at this from Ben right now. He will finally fall. It becomes a 1v1. Should have been an easy round for Hull, for Horizon. Shane, no choice but to hop the bomb. He should be cleaned up and there it is. Bit of a scratchy round there for Horizon, but nevertheless, it's another round win. They'll take that. Been struggling in their search and destroys so far in the league, so Anything they can get, they will take. Crisp shots there from Ben. Unfortunately, wasn't able to get the read on the third kill there. That round could have ended very differently had he done so. Six and one then for AKS. A two and one round count. Favouring Horizon. Looks like the pressure will now go to the B-bomb site. Shane running this up quickly to the B-bomb site. From wrapping back AKS in money window. He's going to catch a stun to the face, so he's not going to be able to do much just yet. That bomb will go down no problem. 
Pressure coming from the pool steps. Sparks trying to find some AKS. I mean, he's having a stellar game right now, but Ben answers back with a two piece of his own. Now, one versus two for Ben. He's found by Sparks. Beast will get the defuse. And that's a can busted wide open by AKS once again. What a game he's having in the search and destroy, man. Really showing why he's such a big pickup for this side. Placing Jack, of course. A good find. Hands to be said so far. I think we stay on board with AKS as we go into this next round. 3 to 1 advantage, Horizon Alliance. AKS potentially about to find first blood here, but Richie will have the honour of that one. AKS seals the second blood immediately afterwards. Both feeds out will block the nades, but Richie finds a kill regardless. Leave Shane just the last man standing. Let's see if we can jump on board with his POV. He's able to find one in the kitchen. Sparks has taken a snooze there. Shane will find him. Moving on out. Trying to find the next one. He's pinched in. Nothing he can do there. Another solid round for Horizon Alliance. Okay, off we go once again. Looks like Real Gaming switching it up again. Heading towards this A bomb site, they've not been able to find anything that really works for them so far in the search and destroy. Shane heavily tacked up. Richie's in his familiar spot in top laundry. He's been taking some fire though, so he'll have to fall back just for the moment. Sparks and AKS getting it done. Two versus two situation. Ben does have Sparks to deal with bottom art. Ben's just going to try and reposition a little bit here. Sparks being very patient. Richie looks like he's getting snuck up on as well. He'll be found by Shane. Sparks able to find his kill. An excellent trade there brings Real Gaming their second round. I believe Shane, yeah, gets the two kills here, finds Richie, just slides out for the challenge on the next one. Doesn't go for the bomb plant, feels confident, expects Parks to be aggressive. Gets the read, gets the kill. Incidentally, Ben Tom having a very strong game the side of real gaming but not much else to speak of on the real gaming side they've just not managed to get much going Richie draws first blood yet again attacking this b-bomb site Ben responds with two of his own 9 and 6 for him there's three going for the ace now is Ben Last man standing is at pool steps. Will they leave it for him? No, they won't. <laughs> They're not taking any chances. Nice answer back. Two back-to-back -back rounds from Real Gaming. Gorgeous shots with the Creek 6. You just get the sense that Horizon weren't quite on the same page there in that round bit of miscommunication they're all kind of like individually poking out from random angles and 
and happy to pick those ones off all day long and see what the response is now from your gaming. They've been struggling on their offense. They just managed to win one last time around, but Shane will actually uh, drop for drop AKS for first blood. Bit of a different theme so far in this round. Richie's feeling the pressure in kitchen, so he's gonna have to get out of there. Sparks finds a nice kill on the water steps. All action in the middle of the map right now. East's woes continue one and six in the S and D. Leave Sparks. All by his lonesome. In the one versus three, finds one. As all players behind him at B bomb site. So he doesn't know that. Bomb will be going down momentarily. There it goes. He will know this is happening. There we go. Just to get a reload in. Now he has 10 bullets in this AK 74. Yeah, that could come back to bite him. Gets great shots in on the second. Can he spin on the last one? Manages to get out on his life. Then running away. This is. Maybe not the best option. It's going to give Sparks plenty of chance to reposition. Get a reload in. It's going to be a huge momentum swing if he's able to get it. Ben knows he can play the clock here. He's just going to run away. Sparks are actually going to chase. Bold move. I don't know if he'll get back in time. He finds the kill. Can he slide on it? I don't think he got it. I don't think he got it. I think that slide actually might have hurt him there. Yeah. About point one of a second in it. What a tight round that was. Very bold move coming in from Sparks. Didn't really have many options open to him. He either had to go for the defuse or go for the kill. Opted to go for the kill. I actually found it, which I was surprised about, but unfortunately wasn't able to get onto the bomb again to get that defuse. Let's jump on board with Beast here. One and six and so far in the search and destroy. He's not had much success. Significantly overshadowed by AKS, but I kind of need Beast to step it up now. So I'm moving towards the same bomb site for their attacking round. AKS will drop for first blood. Richie gets a trade with a nade. Nice work. There we go. Beast getting into the action. There's one and nearly finds a second. His friend Richie will clean that one up. That's going to leave Richie now in a one versus one against Reens. Reens currently hanging out in kitchen. Dips out the money window. We'll see where he's end up to ending up. Could clash here on full steps. Richie not quite quick enough on the draw. And that's going to give Real Gaming, believe it or not, the advantage. going them, Putting them onto match point. In the search and destroy. Five to four. Horizon Alliance now find themselves with their back against the wall here. In the search and destroy. And need, need to answer back quickly here. Force this round 11, otherwise this could definitely be become an interesting series. Real Gaming need to answer back with a re, with a S and D win here. After they took quite a beating in the respawn, if they can steal the control, because it's more of an S and D style um, to the respawn, then they could easily take this series and certainly force a game five in a great position to go up two to one here. Just need to seal out this round win. Richie draws first blood yet again. How many times have I said that? Sparks with another one. Two versus two situation. Someone chasing and punished. It's Ben getting over eager. Reens then. One versus two for the map. This is an absolutely huge round if he can clutch this. This would be huge just for this game, but the series as a whole puts them, in my mind, in a really dominant position, actually, after taking such a beating in map one. They really stand a chance at, at the least seeing it out to a game five where they could potentially have another shot at Horizon in an S&D, but here we go. Round 11, baby. We like a good round 11. I haven't had a chance to cast many round 11s, but 
this will be another one that I have the pleasure of casting. Let's see what will be the plan here as we're moving on to this round 11. We'll see where's the pressure going to come from. Greens and co look like they're moving up to the middle of the map. Ben going to draw first blood, get a trophy out. Gets a stun out into kitchen as well. Rich is going to need to be careful actually, gets a trade there. That's huge, a huge pick there. AKS draws is another kill. And Reans, he's all by himself. He's all by himself at full steps. His teammate's nowhere near him. I don't understand. What is Ben doing? He needs to get to his teammate, otherwise this is going to be over. Green somehow nearly picks up Beast. Beast actually managed to get that kill, which is huge. Ben. One versus three. Finds one. That's arguably one of the harder kills to get for free. Beast might be the easiest one he can get right now. Time running out for him, though. If he finds AKS here, he has a really good chance, but he's going to have to be quick about this. 20 seconds left on the clock. Time dwindling. Beast puts himself in a perfect position to watch the bomb site. Cleans up the kill, and that's a horizon win. And this could potentially be looking at a 3-0 here in this series. Really disappointed with how Royal Gaming played that round 11. I don't understand what that what they were really thinking, to be honest. They didn't seem to have much team coordination. It just there was a two-man push, I think, into mid, and that kind of fell apart. And it was kind of everyone left around randomly floating on the map. Anyway. That's uh, map number two, so Horizon up 2-0 in a series. Control coming up next, and uh, potential for a 3-0. We'll see you in... Welcome back, everybody, to the action here. Horizon Alliance taking on Real Gaming Blue in the CCL uh, Tournaments League. I made a mistake. It's not Cod League UK like I thought it was. Anyway, Real Gaming with their backs against the wall here against the number one team... In Horizon Alliance, control here on raid. See what happens in this one. Not going to count real gaming out just yet, but Hill's going back and forth, and it's two again for AKS off the rip. Means that real gaming will have a little bash at B here. Push at A was well and truly stopped. Shane's trying to look for the spawners of Horizon. But all the kills look so far to be going the way of real gaming, so... It's all good so far, but Richie clears the point anyway. and It's all kind of scrappy at the moment. No one really taking control. Let's see if anyone's able to get some control over this B point for Real Gaming. So ben will be the person to do that. 4 and 2 right now, man. That 4 and 3 as he falls. Ben's lying prone there. I think he traded him. Oh no, he didn't. It's alright. Richie picked up, uh, was picked up and then Beast with the trade. <laughs> I thought it was a kill trade there. I haven't seen that in a long time. The advanced warfare, uh, into warfare days, I feel like. Nevertheless, progress is good over at A, and they should actually manage to get the cap here. Pretty decent time, it has to be said, and because of the scrappy pushes over at B, life count's not actually that bad. They actually do have life advantage over Horizon at the moment as well. Just three life advantage, nothing major, but it's something to consider. Horizon, not going to have many bodies to throw at this... Uh, the site, however, they're going to start picking up some kills around. Beast is going to get shot in the back. Let's see, anyone able to get on there? It's top bun. She's going to pick up a kill in the money window. Falls to AKS, who finds the, the trade there. Horizon now without a respawn remaining. Find themselves in a bit of a tricky spot. Hats to be said. Richie picks up a kill. Beast will fall. 
AKS gonna be the last man standing. One versus seven. Good luck to you. Finds two. Okay. Somehow I should find three, but I should find four. Wow. One versus three now. Oh, so damn close from a one versus seven to a one versus three. I mean, I would have fell out of my seat if that happened. AKS, you are just something different, my friend. That shouldn't have been allowed, but... Hey, it was. I mean, this this is just the business right there. I mean, that's illegal. Goodness gracious. Okay, let's recompose ourselves into the next round here. Real gaming. Just about by the skin of their teeth. Find the first round win. What should have been a much easier round than that. Ended up being quite the scenes. Anyway, looks like... AKS into the action once again early on, but Ben, Ben lining him up, finds one, finds two, fi nearly finds a third. Cleaned up by AKS. He's not going to let it happen. He will fall to a nice two piece by Shane. Just traded out by Beast, but absolutely no control for Horizon just yet. They're all going to start spilling out from the middle of the map, have players in kitchen to deal with. Shane's picking up the kills there. Uh, looking over this raid side of the map, but pressure looks like it's going to be building towards B. Richie's going to be getting on there. Six and ten for him. Having a bit of a struggling, uh, a, a hard time, I should say. A struggling time. I'm not sure if that's particularly great English, but we'll roll with it. So anyway, struggling, as I say, in this in this uh, control at the moment. Pressure in the basketball court is building, but. Won't actually make much of a difference. Uh, the points actually might have been captured here. I'm surprised that they let that one go. That leaves all three members of Horizon just to waltz onto A after off the respawn as they please. And Real Gaming is going to have to react to this, and they do actually manage it. Ben picking up a nice kill for a couple of kills there. Sends him to a five kill spree. His teammate Shane is on a three kill spree as well. So. Good hold for now. Shane in on the action. He's actually cleaned up. I'm not. I was surprised about that. I thought he was going to find himself a kill there. We'll see if Ben can try and work on some streaks. That would be big. Moving on into the later rounds of this control. Beautiful shots there. Going to start looking for the spawners of Horizon now. Horizon at risk of running out of lies yet again. Here. though lines up two and that does give love that's lovely AKS um, managing to slip round as the rest of the guys from Horizon Alliance push round through the jungle the pool side of the map up to jungle turns the heads of Ben so he gets shot in the back in driveway that was lovely very well done still though real game in in control of this area of the map in control of the zone Beast is always a little lonesome. He's cleaned up by Ben. So now the push will come through Art. AK is going to go up into the window. Finds a nice kill there. Onto someone who is hanging out in laundry. But time will run out. Oh, I've, actually they run out of uh, lives there. I thought a timer did run down. But yet again. Real Gaming eliminating their opponents in this control. This really has been an ex exhibition here of good control gameplay. Apart from the <laughs> dicey first round, they've been pretty good um, at, for the most part of just kind of just sticking together really and making sure that they have control. B was a bit sketchy, but they made no mistake on the A side, really bunkering down in there. First movers then to this ring side of the map. It's Beast up top. He will fall. His teammate picks up kills around him though, so Ren's kind of stuck by himself. Goes for a cheeky stun off the wall. We, I'm gl so glad we managed to pick that up. That was gorgeous from Ren's. Gets a dirty kill there. 
eventually falls. But let's see, where's the pressure building on the minimap? Let's see. Looks like it's going to be a push over towards B by the looks of things. Let's see if anyone able to get into the point there. Sparks is going to pick up one on pull steps. He's going to have some work to do here, I believe. He will fall. It's all blue in the kill feed now. Real Gaming kind of had their free pick, but they're not making quick progress here. They kind of had an open map there to go wherever they wanted. They chose to go nowhere. They're going to go for another wave of kills before they push on up. He's going to try and play spoiler to that. 29 seconds left now. Real Gaming's foot. Their hand has been forced to go for this B point. Horizon just needs to waste the time, really. Beast in on the flank. Cleaned up by Shane. Shane diving and dipping and diving. Finds the kills, but he's actually by himself over at B, so he'll be cleaned up. So it's going to be up to the top bun to get things done, and she does over at A. Player comes in from behind. That's Richie. He's having none of it. It's just kind of a split map push now from real gaming. Just a bit of desperation. I don't like that sort of play. It's not how you're going to win these rounds. They're, they were doing very well at just kind of working as a team on round A. But that seems to have <laughs> all gone out the window. Finally, Ren's able to get a touch. And everyone from Horizon spawning out at B. They may decide to give this up, potentially. Real gaming significantly down on lives, so they do give it up. Bush will come through jungle side of the map. We've got AKS and Sparks ready and waiting here to deal with the pressure. Sparks deals with one. But top Bun is able to get through. She's just going to hang out here in the back lines. Has some teammates in support. That's going to be Ren's picking up a couple of kills there. Gets himself on a four kill spree. Nearly a turn and burn on Sparks there, but... It's all smoke and no fire. Time dwindling and lies rapidly. Running out, it's Ben all by, him by himself. He will fall. Horizon finally get around on the board in this control. One more. We'll see us go to a round four. Maybe I should say round five. <laughs> Maths. Okay. Never, never mind. Never mind. Top bun. Struggling a decent amount in this one. Let's see if that comes to bite real gaming here. Let's see. Where's the push actually going to be? It's going to be at A. We'll jump on board with Richie. Sparks will fall for first blood in the hands of Ben. Beast answering back. AK answering back. Richie answering back. There's three kills in quick succession. For the Horizon lineup, it's Richie lining up in the back lines, finds one, finds two. Not able to find the third there. Shane answers back finally for real gaming, but this cap's going to go very quickly at A. There it is, done. Two minutes, 17 seconds left on the clock. And they're going to have this pincer in out movement they're able to do. Shane's going to try and shut this one down, finds one. Not able to find the second as AKS is breaking out through the kitchen. Gordon Ramsay is here and he is not happy. Pushing out through the back lines. All in the lines of real gaming is Horizon. Top bun all by herself. Beast, he's heating up now. It's three kill spree for him. This could be a very, very quick round. Unless real gaming is able to break. Richie finds one. Beast finds a second. R Richie finds another one. And there it is. Wow. That was a quick round. That's the quickest round of control I think I've ever seen. Horizon there, not done in this control, battling right back. After, you know, I kind of said it in that um, Search and Destroy, that real gaming, they really had a chance to push uh, Horizon here to a game five, which would have been massive for them. They were looking really in good nick in the control here as well, so... If they 
took that S and D, maybe they could have taken this as well. My prophecy may have come true. We could have been going to a game five, but looking very bleak now for real gaming as we're going into the final round of this control. It's blue in the kill feed for now. Ren's picking up some kills, but he will fall. Ben trying to look over, but AKS picking up two, 29 and 22, looking for his 30th kill in this map. Hops over the wall. Thank you very much. That's an easy kill. But still, relatively in control is real gaming. But not able to get the progress they want towards one of the points here. Looks like the pressure will be at B. They eventually find their opening. Beast looks like he wants to put a stop to that very quickly. On the other side of the map, look at this. Splitting the map again is real gaming. I feel like... This may or may not come back to bite them. We'll see. Top bun lines up a nice two-piece there. And they may just be able to quickly capture this A site before they all fall. Oh, they will go down. So it's 45 seconds. One tick remaining at A for them to get. And look. They're just kind of not decisive. Renz, is, he's on his own mission there over at B. It's kind of... Like they're not all on the same page. I, I kind of want to see real gaming just be a bit more decisive and confident in themselves. They have the gun skill and the talent to take on this Horizon Alliance squad. These guys are like 13th in the league. And, you know, Horizon, they're first. And they're, they're pushing them in these gunfights. Gaming, they just need to be confident. Life's on the line here in this series. They will actually capture A here just about. So they give them a minute and 17 seconds to force the third map in the series. Oh, excuse me, the fourth map in the series. Players all over B as well. All real gaming. This is looking fairly decent as I say that. Most of them do actually fall. Shane needs to go massive here. If he can pick up a couple kills, player 8 wisely backing down. It is Sparks. He's going to be hunting and... Shane looking for the kills of he can see if he can get any respawners. He's able to find one. Sparks is all by himself. He's worked his way around to basketball court and he's able to sneak in. AKS answering with a couple kills as well. No respawns remaining for either team. It's gun on gun. Richie finds a massive kill. Player number three could be big here. It's shame, but he will fall. Two players left. Can anything be done here? One versus three. 20 seconds. Catches a nade. Somehow stays alive, actually. Should be cleaned up momentarily, though. There we go. Horizon Alliance win the series 3 to nothing. Real gaming letting it slip there at the end. And the control, they had control. See what I did there? They had control throughout the control. Or lots of control. Um, <laughs> they kind of had it, man. They had it in the S&D as well. Had opportunities to really push Horizon here. Now, that's kind of worrying, to be honest. Horizon taking on 13th on the table. Really shouldn't have been that close. But hey-ho, a win is a win. And it's a 3-0 win. Whether it's convincing, I don't know. You tell me. Anyway, we have another match uh, later on tonight. Uh, about 9 o'clock-ish. So hopefully you will join me for that. Until next time, take care. And I'll see you very soon.